to have those kind of stats here at KU, I mean, I've always loved KU, and to be up there, it's awesome. When you first came to KU, you probably, I mean, everyone likes to you know, be remembered in some sort of way, and you definitely will be. Is that a good feeling just to know that you have a you know, really big role here in the history of this program? Yeah, you know, it feels great, obviously. I mean, I didn't think about that coming when I was coming here. It didn't cross my mind at all, but now that it's there, I mean, that's awesome to be talking to some of those guys that are up there as well. Can you talk about, I mean, the leadoff double in the eighth obviously got their little rally going, and then it was the end for you. How anxious is it sitting over there when they're nickel and diamond, you guys? I mean, it's really anxious. I mean, they hit, their lefties hit quite a few balls over there. Yeah. That it was, I mean, may not have been hits normally, but right. uh, I think we just attack them inside and it'll be fine, but it's extremely anxious <laughs> like that. How does it feel to go so deep in a start like that? Too? Oh, it feels great, you know. Uh, being a starter, we have to have a good start and uh, our goal is to get as deep as possible and uh, save the bullpen as much as we can. Anything else for Thomas? Just to that, I mean, obviously getting it off to a good start in the series. I know Coach talks about winning at home takes care of a lot of things. It's got to feel great to come back tomorrow knowing you're up 1-0. Oh, definitely does. we got two more chances to win the series, and uh, if we get it done tomorrow, we get a chance to go for the sweep on right. Sunday, but uh, it's going to be big if we win the series. You're you don't normally pitch on Fridays. Um, do you think this is going to be something new for you to, to be the Friday guy? Or I mean, I'm just going to go out there and pitch whenever they tell me to pitch. No difference. Same pitching against same team, just different day. You ready to go tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> approach tonight and your focus. I mean, obviously that's a good team, and you guys would get them at home and have a chance to get the series off to a good start. You had a lot to do with that. Yeah, I was just trying to stay consistent, just see the ball hit the ball, and. You know, my first two hits were just little dinkers that you know, kind of built my confidence and just kept it rolling from there. So, First four-hit game of your career, you kind of get into a flow. Uh, anything change coming into the game? Uh, nothing really. Just try to keep everything the same, same uh, routine, everything in that regard. So, yeah. How does it feel to play so well against such a highly touted pitcher coming in? He had 40 strikeouts, 7 uh, yeah, he's he, he was, you know, throwing really good pitches. His fastball slider was working, but uh, you know, it's a really good team win today. So definitely get some momentum for going in tomorrow. And we asked Thomas the same question, but get up 1-0 in a big series like this with a ranked team at mm -hmm. home. Uh, what kind of momentum is that giving you? Oh, it's huge. You know, we can actually you know get the series win tomorrow. So uh, definitely gonna come out with some fire. Do you like, I mean, that's a team, I, I didn't know this until Thomas just said it, but they played 24 straight at home or something crazy like oh, that. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do, do you like that when, you know, making it uncomfortable for the opponents on the road right out of the gate like that? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, tonight wasn't, I mean, you guys won, obviously, but, but mm -hmm. really wasn't even that close. I mean, they rallied at the end, but mm -hmm. is it nice to kind of set that tone and, oh, and yeah. beat them up a little early? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think we just have a kind of a new tone to our team this year. We're just a lot more, a lot more intensity in the dugout and our chemistry is just really good, so it's been a... So keep carrying on throughout the season. Yeah, that may have been our best all-around performance of the year from a starting pitching and the way we swung the bats and how aggressive we were taking the fastball away and two-strike hitting and two out RBIs and our short game execution on offense was fabulous too to set the table. And Taylor was good, which it takes to beat a number 18 ranked team in the country. you got to get good starting pitching and obviously Pache is as good as anybody in America in the back end. Did you sense it was coming? I mean, a, a total performance put together like that? Well, you know, Matt, I've been really pleased with how we played at Oklahoma. I mean, the, the last two days at Oklahoma were absolutely tremendous college baseball games. And, you know, we lose an extra innings on Friday night, then won a great one on Saturday. And we're so excited to be home. You can see the energy in our dugout and the enthusiasm in our dugout. And when you've only played five home games coming into this week, it's we love playing Hogan Ballpark. You could tell tonight. Mm -hmm. Got runners on early and often this, this game. What kind of mindset does that create in the dugout when you can put some pressure on a team? Yeah, and I think the guy's got some clutch, clutch hits early in the game, too. And, I mean, you look at the board, and the guy was showing 92 to 95, and our guys did a really good job of laying off the off-speed stuff out of the zone, and they were on time with the fastball, and they worked counts and got into power counts, and, and then they put some really good swings on the baseball. How good is it? I mean, he's been doing it all year, but Thomas Hale just seems to have a good game every time he's out there. Yeah, he's really blossomed into, into an outstanding uh, starter in this conference, and it's been fun to watch his maturity and his development over the five years that he's been here. He can now command his fastball on both sides of the plate and down in the zone, and, and he usually pitches at 90-94. Jacob Boylan, I mean, when runners were on base, he really came through in the third and fourth inning. Um, 
what are your thoughts on his Well, he's a really good offensive player. I mean, that's the one tool that he has, and, and he's obviously a freshman, and he's gone through his struggles. He was one for 18 in conference coming into tonight, and we brought him in the last two days to try to get him some early work just to try to get his confidence level back and get his rhythm back and get his front foot down and stay behind the ball. And he had some really good swings tonight with two strikes. In a game like this where you guys get off to a really good start, what's got to happen to, to carry it over to tomorrow and Sunday as well? Well, I think though, anytime you're trying to face somebody who's ranked in the top 20, it's about winning series. And certainly tonight gets us off on the right foot. But you got to get three quality, three quality starts. And, and that's the only way you win series is in this great league. If you only get two start quality starts, you're giving one game away. So from my perspective, it comes down to Duncan and Benjamin. If, if we get two more quality starts on a weekend, we got a really good chance to win the series.